Okay, hi everyone. In this video, I am doing a little bit of retouching to a dress here. Um, in this photo, this is one of the photos which I really liked and I'm going to send off to the magazine, but the designer of it is wanting me to kind of get rid of some of the, the creases that were on it. Um, one of her photos, I'll show you what she has done herself. She's edited it like this. So this was her editing. Uh, effect. It's done a very good job there, so all the creases are kind of gone. But unfortunately this isn't really the photo I'm wanting to do because the eyes there and the eyes there, I'm not really digging their positions. So, uh, the photo which I want to work on is this one. Uh, so it's pretty much exactly the same location, everything's happening, but just different eye positions. And uh, so I was just going to try and straighten out the dress. Now, uh, what I'm doing is I'm editing this in GIMP, which is a free software which is pretty much has all the same stuff as Photoshop. Uh, obviously not quite as good as Photoshop, but it does a job, especially when it's free. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's, uh, the first thing before we even get onto the brushes, is to actually make a duplicate layer, and that is just by clicking this little button here. And that means any changes that we make, we're going to be making it to the top image and we can easily get rid of them just, or just see the effect that we've had just by changing the eyeball icon here. So uh, first thing we're going to do is let's go, well actually we're going to have to zoom in because we're pretty far out and let's just go for a little bit closer onto the tummy here. Okay so let's see what do we think. Okay, I think I'm definitely going to, have to take some of these out. Uh, go to the healing tool or cloning tool. I think I'll go with heal to healing tool just now, and I'll make it a soft brush. And I'll make it size. Oh no, it needs to be bigger than that. Oh no, that's opacity. Size, but it's ten, probably a little bit too big. Seven. Seven's about right. Okay. So on the actual picture, click on the picture, and then press Control, and then click again, and that should show us in your area which you're going to be copying. So now if I go over these bits here, that's them sorted. So you should really always do bits which are close to each other. Here, there's a little dot there. Let's get that. Okay, and so once you've done a little bit, you can just see what your effect was like with getting rid of the opacity or the, the eyeball tool there and there. So that's the difference that we've done so far. Cool, and that's kind of just a quick way of how to do it. Uh, if you want to put more effort into it, then you can spend hours on it. Uh, but here is just a quick example. This isn't one I'm actually really going to be using because uh, I haven't really done it that well. But uh, yeah, that's kind of one of the ways that you use this. Okay, hope it helps. Cheers, bye.